take a look at video from just over an hour ago. It's been quite a mess around here. Lots of flooding roadways and water. This is the lodge at Linwood, and you can see that cars and trucks are struggling to push through water there in both directions. This video taken just a short time ago. So depending on the drainage, wherever you are, this could be mounting up to a flooding issue. Yeah, sometimes the drainage could be good. It's just too much too fast, mm -hmm. and that's one of the threats for these storms just super soakers that can flood out some highways, some streets, and you know the phrase from the National Weather Service, turn around, don't drown. It certainly can happen. You can get swept away, uh, especially if there's uh, nobody out where you are trying to accomplish this. We have temperatures in the low and middle 70s, a little warm front pushing through. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk for severe uh, weather, but mainly through the late, late afternoon and evening hours. Pretty garden variety rain and thunder but we have had some pretty intense rain in isolated spots, which is why we've seen some of that flooding. And you can see what is still trying to work in here down north of Indianapolis and just curving in our direction. So we have middle 70s to maybe upper 70s as we get some breaks from the wet weather, scattered rain and thunder showers, and a little more intense as we get through the evening hours after 7 p.m. We're talking about winds that could be gusting 50 to 60 downburst winds and isolated tornadoes. We'll take a closer look at the model as some of these storm cells come pushing in here later today. Rhonda.